Hey guys, so today I got an iPhone 11. It was at an at AT&T deal and we got accepted for it and got iPhone 11s. So I'm going to tell you what this is and what it's all about and what's in the box and all its features and the pros and cons that I have about it. Now let's go! Hey Google, set the lights to 100%. Alright, now let's unbox this. Now if you noticed, I got the product red version. Because I like red. Red is my favorite color. Anyways, now let's unbox this. Now what you get in the box is... The iPhone 11 itself will set that to the side. And what you get after that is your usual getting started guide. But since I got the product red version, it gives a little product red note information. It says, in partnership with Red, Apple will contribute a portion of your iPhone purchase to the global fund to support HIV AIDS programs and help deliver an AIDS-free generation. Learn more or donate at www.red.org. Yeah, that's good to know. And now, now that's the side. You got your ear pods. I know that people have wireless headphones now, but they still include them in the iPhone. 11 and now that's a good unboxing of it yep these are the ear pods the ear pods look like these ear pods and there's a lightning connector right here because there's no headphone jack they got rid of that since the iPhone 7 there's no headphone jack here. It's usually right here at this location. And I believe that the iPhone 6S and 6S Plus and SC was the last phones to have the headphone jack. Man, what a disappointment. But anyways, you got your power cable. Trying to remove this part of this cable from the USB part. What a really nice cable. And the 5 watt power adapter, which I... Which, in my opinion, they should start including the 18 watt fast charger like in the iPhone 11 Pro. Because many phones are now capable for 18 watt fast charging. But, oh well. Anyways, we'll throw this aside. And now for the iPhone 11. Mmm, just listen to that. Oh my gosh, that looks awesome. I thought there was something that was needed to be removed from here, but nope. I could tell why we, that, that there was no screen protector because of all the fingerprints on there. I got hands on to this since my mom and dad gave me this iPhone 11. But by the way, this isn't my first iPhone. You saw me with an iPhone XS and my actual first iPhone, well, what my first iPhone, I mean my first phone was the iPhone 7. Man, I really need to work on that grammar. Why do I not get all this right on, on every single episode of this channel? But seriously though, let's boot it up. Oh yeah! Look at that. 
I could tell that I see like more illuminated of black. I could tell that because of the LCD display, but at least we got it booted up and you might have noticed it boot up it all the way. You thought it would go into the setup page, but no, because But look at the cameras. I mean, I will miss 3D touch because it doesn't include that here in this phone anymore. The 3D touch feature was on my iPhone XS, but they replaced it with long press. But at least the screen size and cameras are a nice improvement. There's all my applications in there. I guess, yeah. And what's really cool about these Apple products is that you can get Apple Care Plus to protect your phone because even though that this every new Apple product comes with a one year warranty, just in case if you have a problem with it, you want to get Apple Care Plus for every other thing that isn't protected by the warranty. So, let's get into the features of this iPhone 11. I'm going to put this in screen recording for a moment. There we go. Now, let's go into the camera. So, you might notice that it's usually on the wide cameras, but now that it has an ultra-wide camera, you can take an ultra-wide photo. That's right. And now, that's really awesome. And what's really awesome is that this has night vision. So that way, you can take night vision photos. Here, I'll show you. Here's a photo took in without night vision. That would be mostly on any iPhone itself, like the iPhone XS that I had. This is a photo with night vision on and on auto. Super awesome, huh? You can see everything now. Even when you're in the dark. Super awesome, but what's cool about the dual camera system, this is the wide and this is the ultra wide. There's a flash there and there's the microphone. Well, what's pretty disappointing is the rim. I'm gonna grab a coin for just a sec. Okay, so as you can see, this is the penny right here that I'm holding on to, and this is the camera rim. As you can see, it's, it's half as thin the outer camera rim is half as thin as this penny. So yeah, it could be a big problem if you just use the phone itself and when you drop it, it would just crack the camera. But it's not a problem if you use a case. I have a case right now, which I'll show you at the end of the video. Anyways, let's move on. So... This is mostly on the camera itself, again, and now you can choose
and now you can choose between a 4x3 photo, a 16x9 photo, or square photo, which is a 1x1 photo. Super awesome, huh? And with the night vision and the resolution type, there's some more features on the camera. This has portrait mode. Don't you worry about that. It's just my basement camera that detected motion. It that's the focus. And anyways, that's me with on natural light. You can choose the depth. If you go all the way up to 16, it's like this. But if you go way up to 1.4, it's like this. But it's mostly gonna choose it for you besides that. Anyways, this is studio light. This is contour light. This is stage light. Wow. This is stage light motto. And this is high key light motto. But for now, I'm just gonna take a photo in studio light. Super awesome, huh? What's cool about this phone now, yes, there's Pano, by the way. Is that you have slow fees now. But by the way, before we get to that, we'll go into the video options. So, in this phone, you can choose between HD and 4K. And when you're on 4K, well, first let's go in HD. You can choose between 30 and 60 frames per second. And on 4K, you can choose between 24, 30, and 60 frames per second. Personally, I like to use 4K at 60 frames per second because you'll never know if I take a video on 4K 60 frames per second. And if you sl if you just hold on the photo, it's not going to do burst photo like it did on the iPhone XS. No. It can use quick take now because you can take a quick video. And if you slide to the lock icon, you can continuously make the video until you press the stop button. Super awesome. But now, let's test the cameras itself. Anyways, by the way, you could do this on the selfie camera too. You could just tap this icon and bam this this ultra wide feature is also on the selfie camera by the way now let's just take a photo awesome now let's do it on the front camera awesome now let's take a video And here we go. Hey guys, this is a video test of the iPhone XS. Wow, this is high quality. I really hope it's worth using this for vlogs. Hey guys, this is a video test of the iPhone 11. Wow, this has high quality. I really hope it's worth using this for vlogs. I've taken a photo and video test on the iPhone XS to compare. Now let's airdrop it. Now that's an airdrop that I'm going to remember. Anyways, now let's compare.
I checked both video quality on the iPhone 11 and the iPhone 10s and the photo quality too and I was thinking that the iPhone is the winner on this one because this has better photo quality and this can record up to 4k at 60 frames per second and with all those new camera features so right now I'm gonna be resetting my iPhone 10s to factory settings since since Verizon can't take the iPhone back because of the bad glass crack I'm gonna be giving it to my grandma anyways man I'm so afraid to do this rest in Rest in peace. Rest in peace. Five minutes later. Rest in peace. Rest in peace, iPhone tennis. Rest in peace. And by the way, the process on resetting your iPhone to factory settings is to go into settings, then general, then reset, then erase all content and settings. And then tap erase all content and settings, which is erased now. Then confirm it. You can choose, if you have, if you still have documents to upload to iCloud, you can finish downloading and then erase the iPhone, or just erase it. Since I knew this would take up a lot of space in iCloud, then I'm just gonna just erase it. And now it's deleting all the data. Right now it's about to reboot in any moment. So yeah, we know that's really confusing, but if you followed along to my words in this steps, then you should be good to go. And now it's reset. Now I'm gonna try these Apple Ear pods. And now let's listen to something. And now it's going to hear. <laughs> let's see. Ooh. Oh, yeah. Okay, okay, I'm just gonna turn down the volume. And by the way, there are some controls here on the AirPods, like volume down, volume up, and you, and play, pause, and if you hold here, you can talk to Siri. What's the weather today? These are pretty good, pretty decent. I'm just gonna save these as backup headphones. Anyways, that's it for the iPhone 11 review. And uh, I'm not gonna be, by the way, I'm not gonna be using the 5 watt charger since it's really slow to me for charging the, for charging iPhones. So I had to provide myself with my own brick. And I had a couple 12 up bricks, and I'm using those to charge my new iPhone 11 and my iPad 7. And so with that, thank you guys for watching. Comment, like, subscribe, and I'll see you guys later. Bye! By the way, if you noticed, I have a screen protector on my phone.
And I have a case right here. This is my second case that I got. And I was I'm going to return the first case since that was scratched. It was a little different than this one. This had like a metal ring for a kickstand. Yeah. And it's still red. And we were returning it because it was damaged when it came, but the box is but the box was okay. Why it was damaged? Because it was scratched when we got it. So, and I was thinking that it came with the screen protectors. So we returned those as well. And surprisingly, one of the screen protectors wasn't even made for that iPhone. Strange. Very, very strange. But anyways, now I'm happy with, with the new case and new screen protector. Now I'm fully protected. Yeah.